Hello everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are hitting the spookiest, scariest short game shots. I know so many people have a fear, a literal fear over some of these short game shots so I'm going to make it as simple and easy as possible so let's run right through them. The first scary shot is a chip shot, pitch shot off of a tight lie. Anytime an amateur sees a tight lie, they tighten up <laughs> and they get really nervous. And I can see why, because when you have the rough, there's a little bit of an extra cushion for you to make a mistake. If you hit it a little bit fat or a little bit thin, you don't see the results as much as when you do off of a tight lie. So you have to nip it, hit it, absolutely perfectly off of a tight line and here's how you do it. So the first thing is utilizing the bounce of your club. Most amateurs start to lean the club head forward and they dig the leading edge. I want you to use the bounce. The bounce is this section right here on your wedge. So to use the bounce, you don't want to have your club so far forward where you're coming in and digging into the ground or feeling like you have to lift it and you hit it thin. You're actually going to set the club as it should lay and then leave it there. Just use the bounce. So what we're going to do as we set up here is we're going to set up square. I want you to choke down because you'll have more control over the shot when you are choking down on the club. If you are at the very end, it's really hard to control it. So we're gonna set it square, choke down, ball middle of stance. I like a more narrow stance, and I think you should have a more narrow stance. The wider the stance, the harder it is to kind of turn your body through it because I want you to feel totally connected when you're hitting this shot. So you don't have to have it touching, you don't have to have it as tight as me, but you can have it a little bit wider, but not very wide. Weight is forward. You wanna feel as if your body and your arms are fully connected. You're not going to have any disconnection from your body and your arms. When you turn back, you're going to have slight wrist cock, slight bend in your arm. And then here's the key part. I don't want you going back at all. I want you to stay on your front foot the entire time. So you don't have any movement. So it's forward, stays forward, continues to stay forward. And that's how you're gonna find consistent contact. When you're swaying and moving, when you're hitting these shots, that's when it gets very, very scary because you don't know where the club is going to bottom out. A nice drill that I like to do is when you're setting up to it, take practice swings until you can hit the ground same spot every single time. If you are inconsistent on where you're bottoming out, then you are never going to hit a consistent chip shot or pitch shot. So practice as long as you possibly can until you are consistently hitting the ground in the same spot every single time. So now let's put it all together. Set up as normal, choke down, narrow stance, lean forward, we is on your front foot and keep it there. So I love these shots and I actually feel like I can trust it more on a tight lie. I prefer a tight lie. I'm Okay, what? <laughs> what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted was I prefer a tight lie because there is less that you need to adjust for. When you are in the rough, so yes, it could seem easier, but it's actually a more difficult shot because there are so many more variables that come into play and every single shot that you're hitting out of the rough is going to be different and there are slight changes that you're always going to have to make, which we will talk about, but with a tight lie, it's always the same. And once you master this technique and you're confident on this technique, you will never fear tight lie shots ever again.
The next scary shot is one out of the rough when you are on a downhill line and the green is running away from you. You can't putt this one and that's why a lot of people struggle with this. And so here is an easy way to get out of the situation. It's actually a really simple shot once you get the hang of it. So you're going to have a wide stance here. Club is going to be almost on its back and you need to do this. You need to open it so much because you're gonna lean forward. And so if you have it square and you lean forward, you're going to deal off the club and it's gonna come out lower. We really want this ball to pop up and land soft. That is the objective here because we need to just carry a short amount. We only need to carry the rough to get it slowly on the green to let it trickle down. We're gonna wide, wide, wide stance, open, open, open club, lean forward, choke down, set your weight. I mean, it is almost 70, 30. I am so far on my front foot. And then you do nothing. All you do is bring it back and drop your hands and you throw it. It's this motion. We want to do this. And to do that, you have to throw your hands and let the club head go underneath the golf ball. That's all you need to do. I see so many people trying to do so much and it really is get in the right setup and then from here, pop it. It's all about having the correct setup. And like I said, from here, you just cock your wrist and let them fall. It's not that scary of a shot when you get used to how your hand should move through it. And you don't have to put that much effort into it. And it's because you only have to carry it, carry it a small amount. So again, all the weight is forward. Like, I can almost lift my back foot up right now. That's how far my weight is forward. And I just stay there and pop my hands. I love this shot when I get it because I am so consistent with it. It's actually quite an easy shot because all you need to do is let the club head do the work. You don't have to try to do anything more. Setup is so incredibly important. Once you are set up in the correct position, let your hands fall, let the club head do the work, and a very scary shot turns into an easy par. The next scary shot is when you're in the rough, you have a short side pin and you can't just let it run on up there because you have something in the way. And this is another variation of the shot I just showed you. One thing I love about short game is once you master this one technique, you can hit so many shots. It's just slight variations off of this one technique. I talk about it all the time. It's the flop shot technique. It's the bunker technique. It's the technique I just showed you on the previous shot. It's the same setup and all you need to do is just hit it a little bit harder. That's all you need to do. And so when we set up to this, we're gonna set up to it the same way as we set up to that uh, short little uh, downhill touchy shot. So wide open club wide stance, lean forward, and now instead of before where we just did, took it back slightly and let it drop, we're just gonna turn a little bit more and it's the same technique on the way down. You don't have to hit it so hard. And I think that's what people mess up when it comes to their flop shots or their bunker shots. I like, <laughs> oh my. So what I was saying is you don't need to actually swing it hard. You need to have energy through it. And energy isn't forcing it down. It's letting the club head do the work. And if you turn back a little farther, you're going to naturally have more energy. So if I'm here and I try to hit it as hard as I can, you're gonna shank it. Like you're gonna do so many things because that's not how this shot should be played. And that is such a scary shot too. Unless you're trying to hit a, a Phil Mickelson flop as high as you possibly can, you are never 
ever going to hit a flop shot like that, ever. It is a slow, controlled swing and you're using the energy of the club head that does all of the work. So never, ever forget that. This should not be a scary shot and a full out flop shot is such a scary shot. <laughs> As you can see, it's actually quite simple and not a forceful type of move. It's also just a really difficult shot, if I'm being honest. Like sometimes when you're hitting these shots that are quite scary, you're not looking to like pull it out or get it to a foot. Sometimes five, six feet is the best that you can do and the best scenario in what's in front of you because you don't wanna be too cute with it and leave it in the bunker or leave it back in the rough. Sometimes just getting it on the green is the great shot for what you're dealing with at the time. So again, just be really honest with yourself on what the shot calls for. And the more you practice, the more you'll be able to hit shots like that consistently, especially under pressure. The last scary shot I want to talk about is when you have a dramatic uphill shot. This one doesn't seem all that hard, but I see a ton of people really struggle with it. And there are some reasons why. When the ball is really uphill to a short-sided pin, most people don't realize how much farther you have to hit it because you are adding significant amount of loft to your club. And I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But when you're adding that much loft, you're turning your 54, your 56 degree wedge into a 64 degree plus wedge. So you have to take that into account that the club is completely changing and you don't want to shut it down because of the uphill slope. You're gonna come straight into the hill and bad things will happen. You're gonna hurt yourself and nobody wants that. So you actually do have to play the slope and that is the correct way to play this shot. So what you're gonna do is see how dramatic the slope is and right now it is pretty dramatic. So I'm gonna set myself along the slope line, which again is gonna add more loft to this. And you wanna do this so the club follows up the slope and doesn't dig down into the slope. That's how you hit those really fat shots. And on a, a, sh a shot like this, where you're coming in so steep on an uphill, you could damage your wrists or your elbows very quickly because of how much force you're coming into it at the angle that you're coming into the ground. So you're gonna wanna play yourself along the slope line and then you're gonna hit this a little bit harder. And when I say harder, it's not quicker here. It's just a little bit more energy through the ball. So you almost wanna do the exact opposite of everything that I've been telling you and that's okay. But that's also why the golf and short game can be a bit tricky because you would never think that you need to set your weight back and you almost need to stay back. It's very counterintuitive of everything else that I've been talking about. But for this shot, that's what you need to do to make sure that the club is going up the hill at a proper angle. You wanna feel like you're uh, bending and cocking your wrist, but it's not as dramatic as the, the hand throw because again, you don't want to add excess loft because it's already um, so lofted from the way that you're standing and the way that you're holding it from the slope. Another one too, where you actually want to get it on the green. And it's so easy to be very cute with a short sided pin, but especially on a shot like this where you're adding so much loft, it is so easy to leave this short. So again, if you are gonna have any miss, make sure that you're being a little bit more aggressive through the ball and not stopping at the ball. That is so important for this type of shot. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but I want to hear from you. What do you think are some scary shots in golf? Comment down below because I can do a part two if we have some that I didn't cover. I really hope that you learned something new and that these shots are not as scary as you once thought they were. Don't forget to like this video, leave that comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. 
Hey guys, I know that you are loving my YouTube channel, but you haven't seen the best stuff yet. That's over on my subscription site only page, link down below for three free videos. Definitely go check it out right now.